You've probably heard about BA2. It's the new Omicron COVID variant that has some infectious disease experts worried. And the reason for that has a lot to do with this chart. It's a CDC census of the COVID variants in the US going back to the beginning of the year. And as you can see from the light pink bars, the relative levels of BA2 have been on the rise since it popped on the scene in late January and early February. So why did BA2 become the new dominant strain in the US? And what does it mean for your chance of getting COVID or ending up in the hospital? Plus, does it make a difference if you've had COVID before or are vaccinated? Let's dig in. BA2's edge so far seems to be that it's slightly more transmissible than other versions of Omicron, including BA1, which caused last winter's big surges. That's why it seems to be beating out other versions of the virus in the race to infect. One preliminary study estimated that BA2 infects on average roughly 2.5 times as many people as Delta. That's the COVID variant that causes surges back in mid-2021. By comparison, BA1 infected twice as many people as Delta on average. That increase is worrisome because more transmissible variants mean more infections. And that poses a bigger threat in terms of overwhelming healthcare systems. Even when you consider that the risks of hospitalization and death from BA2 aren't higher than with other versions of Omicron. Why? Well, it's simple math. A small fraction of a big number is still a big number. So far, BA2 hasn't overwhelmed hospitals in the US. In fact, hospitalizations are at an all-time low. But hospitals were overwhelmed in the UK when BA2 emerged. And in the past, COVID trends there have typically predicted what's to come on our side of the pond. Ending up in the hospital also isn't the only risk that comes with an infection. Between 10% and 30% of people may go on to develop long COVID. That can manifest as brain fog, extreme fatigue, and gastrointestinal problems that last weeks or even months, even following relatively mild infections. Given all that, public health experts are encouraging people to wear masks indoors again in certain parts of the country and to get vaccinated and boosted if possible. That brings us to the big question. Does this mean we can get reinfected? If you had Omicron, maybe not especially if you had it recently. It's important to remember that antibodies naturally go down with time, and that leaves us more vulnerable to infection. You may also be fair game if you were infected with one of the previous variants like Delta, which was prevalent longer ago, or if the infection rates in your community are really high. Typically though, reinfections tend to be milder. Over the course of the last two years, we've had the chance to develop individual and population level immunity against COVID, and that lowers our collective risk. An unpublished study found that BA2 reinfections can happen, but they appeared to be less common among people who were infected with BA1 than with people who were infected with non-Omicron variants. The researchers found that out of 263 reinfections they sequenced, 47 BA2 reinfections happened among people who'd had Omicron before. Meanwhile, 140 had been among those who'd had Delta. A study in the New England Journal of Medicine corroborated those results in a small group of people, and it pointed once again to the protective role of immune system proteins called antibodies. The eight Omicron patients they tested had antibodies that could keep BA2 out of cells. Plus, that study also showed that getting boosted was important for increasing the levels of antibodies that worked against BA2 in people without previous Omicron infections. That's similar to what researchers found with the original version of Omicron. Getting vaccinated and boosted is the best way to protect yourself against BA2 and other current and future variants. Infectious disease experts suggest having high quality masks like N95s and K95s on hand, like earlier in the pandemic, as well as at home tests. That way you can immediately test yourself if you start feeling symptoms. And if you test positive, you can isolate yourself to stop the chain of infection. Finally, keep an eye on what the levels of infection are where you live. The higher the rates, the more at risk we all are and the more precautions we should be taking. BA2 won't be the last variant to emerge. There's already a BA3 Omicron sibling and Omicron XE, which for now researchers aren't all that worried about. Throughout the world, the levels of infection are still high and that gives the virus plenty of opportunity to mutate. And that could mean that in the future, we'll continue to see evolving guidance from health authorities. 